Hi, welcome to a new episode of Brad's Beat Off. Today, I want to talk about how to put some atmosphere in your music. I do want to say this right off the bat, though. Uh, I am by no means any sort of professional audio engineer. I went to school for audio production and dropped out after about three weeks because I got really bored when they started talking about polar patterns and what cardioid and all these other technical jargon terms. Uh, I kind of know what they are now, but at the time they bored the crap out of me. Just want to put that out there. With that said, when I first started learning music, I started learning on a guitar. When I got my first electric guitar, I had to get a little practice amp and on that practice amp, there was a little reverb knob. I always had that thing turn all the way down because that reverb sounded like garbage. So that left a really bad first impression on me because for years I just associated reverb with the crap that was coming out of my practice amp. I always turned every reverb I had all the way off and I always had a very dry sound. So when I started making music using a computer, I continued hating reverb and up until a few years ago, I always had this really dry sound and it just sounded like, yeah, that's clearly made on a computer. It sounds like it's coming from a computer. It sounds like it lives in a computer. So about two years ago, I was making some music one night with my friends and my buddy Brad Finnegan, who makes music, uh, which you can find and listen to here, which I recommend. I was watching him do his thing, making up a little part of a track and he creates this really cool pad sound by using a crap ton of reverb. Boom. Two or three days later, I'm working on making some music of my own and I'm like, let's try this whole reverb thing out. And wouldn't you know it, it helped me find a sound that I feel is unique to me. You might be thinking to yourself, duh, but to me, this was all new. But anyway, I wanna take a little while and kinda show you some of the ways that I use reverb in my music. I'm gonna go through maybe one or two songs and kind of give you an idea of the way that I use reverb to uh, make atmosphere in my music. So let's dive in. We are in Logic Pro X, which is the DAW that I choose to use. You might call it my da, my dog. Uh, I'm gonna show you a song that I wrote, I think probably about two years ago, but it's one of the first songs that I wrote that I really utilized reverb and found kind of a unique sound, so. So I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because that would take a long time and I don't want this video to be uh, forever. So the first thing is this astral pad guy here. So let's take a look. Space D. Hey, Space D. Let's look at you. This is Logic's uh, built-in reverb plugin. I tend to stick to Logic's built-in one just because I'm, the, I'm familiar with it and I think it sounds fine to my ear. I'm not that picky about it. I'm sure that you can figure out how to do this with most reverbs that you're using, so. If this doesn't look familiar to you, just kind of use some common. So let's hear what it sounds like uh, normally. And uh, just so you know, the uh, audio isn't peaking. That's the way the sound is designed. It's supposed to sound crackly. It's very uh, creamy now. Creamy? Is that really the word I want to use? But yeah, it's creamy now. It just kind of smooths everything out. It just kind of smooths everything out. What you're going to find is most of these are pretty simple uses of reverb. There's just a lot of it. It may be reversed. So that's a pretty simple sound to throw reverb on. It doesn't really do a whole lot. But what I really found interesting uh, was when I threw it on uh, this lead synth sound, Mr. Nightlife Lead. I'm going to turn off all of the effects first. Ooh, yeah. That's pleasing. There's more. Here it comes. That sounds really bad, right? The reverb really, I think, is what sells it. Let 
let me show you how I did that. So again, really long reverb. This one isn't eight seconds long. It's only 2.7 seconds long, but it's supposed to sound like a swimming pool, I guess, is what they were thinking. Again, I've turned the reverb most of the way up and turned the dry signal most of the way down and reversed it, which as we discussed a little while ago, reverses it. I also did some uh, similar things to this Hit Machine drum kit. Uh, that's what a lot of the, uh, uh, I don't know, the uh, swishy sounds. And that sounds basically like this. But just to hammer this into your head a little bit further, I'm gonna show you one more track and how I use the reverb. And you're gonna find that it's probably all pretty similar. Here we go. Ooh, big pounding drums and mmm, atmosphere. But let's take a look at how those drums became so big and pounding. Down here, we've got the main drums, which... They sound like they were recorded in a huge warehouse. We have two instances of our Space Designer built-in reverb plugin in Logic. So the first one, let's take a listen with only that reverb turned on. That is what that sounds like. Isn't that neat? So the other way that I used reverb on this track uh, was this reverse 1.4 second jazz vocal room preset that I reversed. But with the reversed, you get that nice swelling into each other sound. Yeah. Other variations on random instruments and random sounds, you can make all kinds of different atmospheric tones. This was a trick that I kind of learned through just time and trial and error, and uh, it's now become kind of part of my, what I think is my own unique sound when I create music. And that's about it on how I use reverb to give my tracks a little more atmosphere. I don't normally make educational or how-to videos like this, so please let me know if you liked this down below and maybe I'll make some more. But until next time, click the like button if you liked it, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you next week for another 10 Minute Tuesday. Oh, and one more thing. The songs that I just showed you, uh, you can download or listen to them on SoundCloud. Links are down below. Alrighty. I love you. I, I, I'll see you next uh, Tuesday. <laughs>